Everybody. welcome back to another vlog I did a little workout I've been addicted to my bathtub lately I just can't get enough of it and now I'm on my way to get my nails done I have a nail appointment it's actually close to noon now oh okay well anyways we'll chat later bye Um, that was the most non-relaxing pedicure of my life. <laughs> I just have to laugh. Like, I obviously still, I tipped each of them like $20. It's totally fine. But, um, whoa. I feel beat up. She massaged my shin bones for like 10 minutes straight. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have bruising there. She cracked all of my toes like five times each. And it was just like... Um, she punched my legs repetitively and then also burned me with a hot towel. So it's a funny experience. It's all good. I'm finished now. My nails are so freaking cute as you saw. So what I think I might do is stop and get a smoothie from Sun Life. It's like up on sunset and while I'm in the area I might as well but also parking in that area and just anywhere on sunset and just anywhere in Hollywood slash West Hollywood in general is kind of a nightmare but I don't know I'm on my period and that's what I'm craving right now so I might have to swing by. Anyways nails done. Okay on to the next fun activity of the day. If you watch my vlogs, flashback to this Soul Cycle class. LOL. All right, we're back in the car. I got the mint chocolate chip smoothie. I've never had it before, but I've seen people get it and it looked really good. So let's try it. Okay. It's very fresh mint. Like to me, it doesn't taste like mint chocolate. It mostly just tastes like mint. Interesting. <laughs> Does anyone else chew their smoothies? Like I have to chew it. That's pretty good. I'll give it like a eight out of 10. Not what I expected, but it, I should have because it's healthy, you know? So, okay, gonna head home and I will check in with you guys later, but successful me day out. Love that for me. Good morning. It's a couple days later. I just finished my hot girl walk for the day. I walked for probably like two and a half miles or so. Made myself my favorite smoothie. It's a very questionable color this morning. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't think I added enough spinach. <laughs> just got out of the shower and now I'm gonna actually try these lashes that I actually saw from one of my friends who was in town visiting last weekend. And she was telling me about these things and how they really work for her. And they're called Flutter Havoc lashes and you order these sets of lashes and they're like they stay on for a week supposedly because like listen listen i took my lash extensions off because i felt like i had become like reliant on them and now i'm fine like i'm over it but i do miss the lashes i do miss not having to spend a lot of time getting ready i have like super sparse blonde eyelashes and i've been using this grande lash grand lash um serum for a little bit i've also heard good things about a few other ones um, but that's just the one that i bought but like i don't know i'm missing it i might have to re-enter my lash extension era we'll see but i'm gonna try this in the meantime so it says that i need eyebrow scissors for this but you need the lashes the adhesive tweezers and then scissors you remove them you prep them you apply the adhesive and then you apply them like under your eyelid instead of on top like other lash extensions do. So we're gonna try those. I'm kind of scared. There's four sections per eye and then I guess you like trim them as necessary. I hope this doesn't take too long because I'm actually FaceTiming with Alexa in like 30 minutes, but I figured I would try this in the meantime. We'll see. Got the scissors. Let's do this damn thing. I ordered the Sweetheart. Here you have it. So I mean, if these last you around a week, then this should last you six weeks. So this would be 
really iconic if it works. They looked great on my friend. That's the other thing. Cause I was like, where are you getting your extensions done? And she was like, they're these lashes that I put on myself. And I was like, huh? So that's where this whole thing started. Okay, so we're gonna remove it. Oh, is this entertaining at all whatsoever? Probably not. Okay. Then you gently remove the sort of like adhesive that sticks it to that little card thingy. So we're gonna take that off. Oh, this, this feels like it's gonna be a lot, but if you only have to do it once a week, I guess it's not that bad. Then you put the adhesive on it. They also have like a tutorial, I think. This, I paid for my own money, by the way. I think it was like $35, $25, something like that. Pretty good price, in my opinion. Okay, so you take the adhesive. Oh, it's opposite. Okay, so you put it on top of the lash. How much do I put? Covering the entire base of the lash. Oh dear. Okay, and I remember my friend saying to like let it get tacky, similar to, you know, regular strip lashes. And then you apply it to the underside of your natural eyelashes. I don't know why that just feels so wrong, but like, what's the difference? I don't know. Okay, pray for me. I definitely don't think I blended that smoothie enough. There's like chunks of spinach salad in my smoothie. The lash segment should sit as close and parallel to your lash waterline as possible, but not touch your waterline. Oh dear God. This angle, tragic, but I'm sorry. This is just what has to be done. Okay, here I go. <sighs> oh no, it's not going well, besties. I remember my friend telling me too that if it gets in your eye, it burns, so that's great. Okay, I think I did it actually. Oh, um. Okay, here's where we're at so far. We've had a couple casualties. I have definitely like leaked glue all over the place. I have also gotten it in my eye and I would strongly not recommend that. But I'm on, I'm like getting the hang of it. I'm on the last little bit for the first eye. So I guess I'll <laughs> try to recoup. Honestly, maybe I should have filmed it um, because it was kind of funny. I was just sitting there like, <gasps> I think it's getting a little easier. I have like 15 minutes until my FaceTime call, so I don't actually know why I'm like this as a person. Like I just always wait until right before I have to do something. And then I'm like, let me start that task I've been thinking about for a long time. But I was just so curious about this. I had to try it. So far it's pretty cute. I mean, I'll obviously need to like update on how it, you know, lasts and holds up and stuff, but so far not bad. Okay. <laughs> it's like so much harder to do the inner quarter. Oh no, it's not going well. I think I need more glue. Frick, maybe if I do it like this. Oh, went in the eye. Oh, it went in the eye, oh no, oh no. Oh my God, it burns. I'm determined, I'm going to get this. Hold. A few moments later. As soon as I turned off the camera, of course, I did it. So here's the first eye. I will say you can feel these like a lot because it's like underneath, especially this inner corner one. It's really kind of bothering me, but I'm going to try to work past that. I'll do the second eye and then we'll check in and see like what the final product looks like. But they are very, very cute. Drew just came in here and he was like, I like them. It looks like you just got your lashes done. I was like, I know. So I mean, so far so good. I just don't know how like practical this is. We'll see. All right, I did it. Here is the final look. It's not bad. I like this eye better than this eye. This like inner corner one looks kind of weird, but that's just me being picky. I don't know. I, I think I might like keep playing around with it. I think I might need to keep playing around with it, but so far it's pretty good. I'll like obviously update you in vlogs as I go along, but like not bad. Okay, let's get on FaceTime. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good morning. It's two days later and um, my lashes I was gonna report are still going strong, but this morning, oh my God, I'm like still just so like uptight because it took me two hours to reapply these. Cause basically I'll keep this short and sweet cause I feel like this has already been long enough about these lashes, but I noticed that like one of them was maybe coming loose or something like that. And it was starting to irritate my eye. I noticed it probably like last night and I was just like, whatever, I'll just go to bed and I'll fix it in the morning. And I even remember waking up in the night and being like, oh, I just want to rip this thing off. Like, it feels like you're wearing strip lashes to bed, if that makes sense. So it's like not the most comfortable thing in the entire world. So I got up this morning, walked Layla, did her thing. And then I was like, okay, let me just really quickly, since it only took me like 20 minutes last time, let me just take these off and reapply them. 
It took me two hours. I literally was sitting there for two hours. I was getting so much glue in my eye. My poor eyes are so irritated, but I was just really determined. Cause I was just like, no, I need to like make these lashes my bitch. Like I'm not gonna be defeated by some stupid lashes. So then I finally got them like going and I wasn't burning myself in my eyes. It literally feels like squeezing a lemon in your eye. Like it's painful. And I was like, okay, I've got this. And I got this eye going and I was like, something doesn't look right. And I realized that I put the ones from this eye on this eye. So then I had to take them off, start all over again. Anyways, got them done. I don't know if I can say much about the lasting power of these. When I looked at the package, it actually says that they only last up to five days instead of a week. And mine lasted like two before they started kind of coming undone. But I tried to put a little more glue on there this time. So like hopefully it'll look okay. But Drew keeps being very sweet and reassuring and being like, they look really good. And I think they do too. So anyways, that's the update. Ugh. But it's almost 9 a.m. We're gonna go take a walk, get some coffee, maybe hit up the farmer's market or something and continue our Sunday festivities. Got the Bagu bag ready to go. Bagu girlies, rise up. This is actually, the print is called farmer's market and we're taking it to the farmer's market. So I don't know if that's like chewy. Oh my God. I saw someone on Twitter yesterday say that now the phrase hot girl walks is like cringy or something. And I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I'm I'm just going to be the place that's safe for cringe on the internet because I don't care anymore. I don't care what like people think is cringe or who's deciding these things. I don't just people. One person's like, oh my god, that makes me want to throw up, and then everyone else is like, oh my god, I've been waiting for someone to. It's like. Ugh. Whatever, I'm sure I've said that about things before, but we're gonna go for a hot girl walk. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, we have to bring our dog inside. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Let's go inside. Oh, you got a leaf on you. What the heck? Your pop. Give me that pop. <laughs> speak. 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 I can hear you. Speak. Speak. She's whispering. <laughs> She's whispering. <laughs> Farmer's Market boy. Yes, work it. <laughs> Ooh wee, okay. We're back from the Farmer's Market. It is toasty out there. It's not even that hot. It's just like we were like right in the sun. And oh my God, it was so hot. Okay, first thing we got, I'll show you, is the flowers. We got zinnias this week. Look how gorgeous these are. These are absolutely stunning. We're gonna try to fit this in here, so wish us luck. We definitely need a bigger base. <laughs> there we go. We got, ooh, I'm excited about these. This is called at natural combo on Instagram. And um, we got some sesame chips and we got some dips. I was trying really hard not to break these, but I definitely broke a lot of them in the bag, but like mm. delicious. And then we got two of their dips. We got the baba ganoush and a tricolor dip. It has pesto, sun-dried tomato, French feta, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and salt. These look heavenly. So we'll eat these with the crackers. Um, we got a yellow nectarine for me, a white peach for Drew, and then I got a pluot. It's so cute. I like definitely over get, like I over order fruit at the farmer's market. So I tried to keep it minimal. And then I got these three little baby sugar plums. <sighs> so freaking cute. So we're gonna eat those up this week. And we've made a goal for ourselves to cook dinner every single night this week. I know for most of you, you probably do that, um, but we are addicted to ordering Postmates. So we're trying not to do that. Um, we definitely like at the beginning of our relationship cooked every single night and then we discovered Postmates and like everything went downhill. So anyways, we got a bunch of like veggies and fruits and stuff. We got some bok choy. This looks delicious. So we'll have to figure out like what we'll do with that. We got an eggplant and we saw a recipe where you like cut it in half and then you kind of like score it and then you spread like miso paste and some other stuff on it. So that looks good. Drew's dancing in the background. <laughs> 
He's a miso boy. Then we'll go. Spiders in here are gonna be pissed. Spiders? There's like cobwebs all over one of these leaves. Ew. I will cry. You will cry. <laughs> then for um, this booth called Krusty's, it's our favorite. We got two curry chicken pot pies. We've had these before and they were delicious. Drew's obsessed with having these for lunch. It's so freaking good. I've had a bite of it. We also got this last time and it was in Insane. We got the pecan sweet potato pie. Do you say pecan or pecan? I think saying pecan is a southern thing. And then he also had a banana pudding, which looked insano. So we got all that. No, is that no the healthiest wafer. thing in the world? No. No, no wafers in there. No, that's what that's yeah. like the classic banana pudding. All right, then I got some peppers for myself. I'll probably Drew doesn't really love like peppers and onions, but I do. So I'll probably put these in like a taco salad or something. But I got a little orange one. A little red one and a purple one. I had never had a purple bell pepper before, I don't think. So we'll see how that goes. Oh my God, I was so devastated because my favorite ever strawberries that I've ever had in my life, they're called Harry's Berries. They were sold out. They were sold out of strawberries. Except for Santa Monica. Oh my God. There were people literally throwing a temper tantrum because they didn't have strawberries today. And they were like, you have them in Santa Monica. Why are you lying? It was. These people are crazy out here. Anyways, we got some little baby zucchinis. It's like so annoying because they come in like the little carton and then they dump it in a plastic bag They're so crazy. they can reuse the carton. Yeah, probably. And then the last thing we got is some berries because they didn't have strawberries. So we got this pack of delicious farmer's market berries. I'm so excited. Oh, they've kind of moved around. Hold on. Let me do some maneuvering here. They've shifted. They've shifted. And here they are. We have blueberries, a mix of, I don't know if these are called white raspberries or yellow raspberries, and then some blackberries. So I'll have these in like my yogurt parfaits this week and just like on the side with like lunch and for snacks and stuff. And aren't these so gorgeous? So that's our farmer's market haul and we're probably just gonna chill for the remainder of the day. Um, I have a really busy couple of weeks coming up because I haven't mentioned this in a vlog yet, but I'm going back to the UK. I'm so excited. I'm leaving Drew forever. Have fun with Layla and Moo. I'm going to go off of my own. Kids. No. Well, you go to the UK. I have to work anyway. Yeah. I can't. Stay. No, but for real, you you are. Like, you told me to go. You're oh, yeah, yeah. I said anytime you have the opportunity to go, you should go. Yeah. So, because he only started his new job, like a few months ago and he's like entering a really busy season at work. He's not able to take time off. So Alexa and I have decided we're gonna go back together and then Drew and I are gonna try to go maybe like in the springtime for our anniversary. I'm so happy for them, just kidding. <laughs> but we're gonna take um, our own trip in the springtime and we're excited about that, but yeah. We just kind of decided I was supposed to go back in June and then we randomly moved to LA. So that got postponed and now is the time. So we're leaving in a couple of weeks. I'm so excited. I'm of course gonna be vlogging. I'll also be doing some stuff for my main channel, but I am gonna like try to just take it easy a little bit with that. Um, last time I definitely just like stretched myself way too thin with like trying to document everything instead of just like enjoying my time. So it'll be like a good mix. It'll be me documenting my time and then also just enjoying myself and like a little bit of work, a little bit of play. It's gonna be so fun. And I get to have Alexa with me. And honestly, I'm even more excited this time because we get to fly together. Cause last time I was coming from Arizona, she was coming from LA. So this time we both get to leave from LA, which is exciting. We haven't done that since we went to Hawaii. So it'll be really fun. Before we eat breakfast or make breakfast, we're gonna try some of these dips. Should we try the sesame crackers by themselves? Because my parosmia, all it tastes is like burnt. Mm. Baba ganoush. Cheers. Cheers. I got way more than you. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pesto, feta, sun-dried tomatoes. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm. Watch us just eat these for our breakfast instead of... I mean, to be fair, it's 11 o'clock, but... Let's make some food. This is my very simple breakfast. This is what I was in the mood for. I just realized I have strawberries and strawberry jam, but it's fine. And um, unfortunately, I think I might be getting sick. I do have a bit of a scratchy throat and I had it sort of a scratchy throat at the beginning of when Drew got sick, but then it kind of went away. And then I was like, okay, I'm, I'm for sure gonna get sick. Like I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And I like wasn't seeing friends and stuff. Cause I was like, I'm gonna be sick. Like I don't wanna, you know, spread my germs to anyone. And like now it's actually happening. 
But I think that's gonna do it for this vlog because I probably am just gonna like take a bath after this and relax. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Oh, we did start a league of their own last night and we like it so far. So we'll probably like binge that, take a nap, just enjoy the rest of our Sunday. But hopefully you enjoyed watching this vlog. Thank you so much for being here. And probably all I'm gonna talk about for the next couple weeks is going to England, but I don't care. I'm so excited, I can't wait. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.